What's going on you guys? This is Max Kid. You have another HP Compact 500B. This is the mini tower. Gonna be upgrades for gaming. So you're gonna move the thumb screw in the back here. And you're gonna slide the side cover panel. And first I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna be upgrading the power supply to do that. It's got a 300 watt power supply in here. For the, the video card I'm gonna install here is a GTX 750. And uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna upgrade it to 400 watt. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the two sc four screws in the back. And you'll need a Torx T15 screwdriver. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, then you can use a flathead. Perfectly fine. Now you're going to disconnect the 24 pin and it's got a secure clip so you're going to take your finger like this gently and press on to release the secure lock. Same with the CPU power 4 pin right there. You have to use uh, this little clip right here, secure clip, you have to press on it to release. You're going to disconnect the uh, this is the power cable from the hard drive and the optical drive right there. And you're gonna need to take a screwdriver, flat head, and it's got a secure clip. You guys probably can see, I'm gonna move the case right here, you guys can see better. So you press on right here the secure clip to slide, the power supply slides out like this. And the power supply guys I'm going to be using is a 400 watt Cooler Master. This is just basic, you don't need anything bigger. If you, if you want to get better just go with the Carsair. They have a CX430 or a CX500 Carsair you can go or a Seasonic. But I'm just going to use a basic one, this will work perfectly fine. So what you're going to do is... First all I'll do guys, before I'm installing the wires, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the memory so it'll be the faster that way. So do that, go like this. And the memory guys, I'm installing a DDR3, uh, 2 gig per each, uh, per each slot, so it's a dual channel, it's going to be a total of 4 gigs. And I'm using that uh, crucial memory. But the memory I also like is Carsair and Kingston. Those are the top three brand Carsair, Kingston, and Crucial. Those are the top three. So, what I'll do is uh, we upgrade the memory total of four gigs. And, guys, I'll do, uh, show you how to upgrade the video card. Do that. There's a little bracket right in the back you have to remove. And there's a secure right here, you have to press up right here, there's a secure clip. And you have to press on right here to release the video card. See right there in the corner, you press it up. So this is like a basic video card in here. This is not going to work for light gaming. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys the video card. So there's another PCI bracket right here, it's mounted to the case, so you have to take it off like this, gently, it comes out. And it's... So what you're going to do is, because uh, I'm going to be using uh, two slots for the video card, I'm going to show you the video cards quickly. So the video card you guys can use is, uh, this is the ones, uh, this is the Gigabyte GeForce GT 710 right here, this is uh, EVGA GeForce GT 730. This one is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, and I'm going to use this one right here. This is a Gigabyte GeForce 750. This is the GTX 750 right here I'll be using. Well, you have to use a full height bracket, but the GTX 1050 Ti and the 750, they'll both look the same, but you have to use a full height bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Install the video card 
And the video card you're gonna be installing is uh, through PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the black one, the top one right there. And you're gonna be using two, two PCI brackets, you're gonna be using two slots. So if you got another slot right here, the PCI bracket you have to remove. So we install the VD card. Now this bracket goes in the back. You have to install that back. This. So the VD card is installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead guys uh, install back the power supply. The screws right off the mount right in the back. And when you start the power supply, the fan right here, you see the fan, it should be facing down. Actually, we see the fan right here, it's not gonna be this side, but it's gonna be this way actually. Because the way that the screws are mounted here. And you're gonna connect back to SATA, the power cable directly to the optical drive. And it's got a six pin power for the video core. If you guys are using the video core, you can use that, but this one video core doesn't use it. It's using the, through PCI Express times 16 slot power, but it's got a six pin. Or if you get the power, if you're gonna be using a video card, it's got an eight pin, then make sure you get the power supply has that. So be the last part guys, is uh, I'm gonna be upgrading to solar state drive. And mine doesn't have, uh, right here, there's gonna be uh, another hard drive cage. Mine doesn't have it, so I installed a hard drive 3.5 inch right here. So to do that, then, you're gonna remove the front cover basil. And you're gonna disconnect the SATA cable and remove the 3.5 inch hard drive. And I'll be using, uh, you have to buy this bracket, it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch for the solar state drive. They sell this online, you can get any brand and you can use any 2.5 inch solar state drive. I'll go with minimum 250, 250 gigs if you, otherwise I go 500. So do that, you just take uh, like this, install it. And you're gonna take the, I get the screws mounted back. That's good enough. And you're gonna connect back the SATA and power cable directly to solar state drive. And 
and you're done. So guys, we upgraded the memory to total of four gigs. Uh, we upgraded video card, GTX 750, and uh, the power supply to 400 watt. And I'll have to use the cable ties later to get the wire management. And what you guys gonna do is, if you guys are gonna be uh, get the plug in the monitor directly to the video card and start when you start like a Windows Windows 64 bit, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Nvidia website, Nvidia.com, and get the drivers for it and restart the computer. And the processor, guys, I upgraded as a separate video I did. Uh, the processor in here is I upgraded was a Q. 8400 the Intel Core 2 quad See so guys this being in the video. Thanks for watching. Bye